Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at an interesting keyboard. Um, I, If you've watched my videos before you've probably noticed that I've mentioned both the brands Mint Caps because I do have some of their keycap sets as well as Sumsen. I use a lot of Sumsen, S-U-M-G-S-N branded uh, the stabilizers. They're well priced and both their screw in and plate mounted stabilizers have never really let me down um, and they're a few bucks cheaper than say other brands or even half the price of like Durox or something like that. Now the other day I came across my feed a mint caps keyboard. Now I had my suspicion that mint caps and Sumsen were one and the same and this kind of gave it away because it's a mini caps keyboard sold by the Samsung store on Amazon. But anyway, I thought I'd give it a try. So today we're taking a look at the mint caps or some GSN YQ84. Now, like I said, it came across my feed. It looks kind of like the EP84, perhaps. I don't know the EP84 I have is wired. This is a three mode. Now I did get it for just below, I want to say $37. It's an 84 key 75% that comes with the um, MSA profile keycaps, the black and white. I think I actually have the white on black version of these. Um, actually, I may have this one as well. I don't know. Let's go ahead and open her up and take a look and see what we got. All right, we got the instruction manual. Quick start 2022. Okay. Bluetooth monochrome. Okay, this is a single, single backlit keyboard. I guess I missed that. All right. Um, so it has Bluetooth and 2.4. So it is a three mode. Has a charge indicator on the space bar. And from what I can see, it does not appear to have a uh, software. Um, let's see. What else do we have here in the box? A cable. We've got a USB cable. So here we have the YQ84. Now, off the bat, this is, it, it weighs a lot more than I expected to. Um, for an 84%, it's quite stocky. Uh, but we do have, as you can see, the MSA keycaps, and I'm positive now that I do have this keycap set in both the black on white and the white on black, which gives you different colored. It's kind of like a checkerboard. I think that's what I call it, a checkerboard, because it just had MSA profile. But, um, that sounds really good. Lightest amount of ticking on the space bar, but I was not expecting it to sound this good. That sounds actually, it sounds pretty good. Um, let's see what we got around back. Yeah, this this is not the EP84, not the RK84. I've seen this before. Um, was it the RK84? I'd have to go and start looking. But having that pocket here and the switch over here, it does remind me of a keyboard I either have or have seen before. I want to say Royal Clutch, but I can't, I, I just can't recall it at the moment. Now let's go ahead and turn this on. Bluetooth. Looks like we just have a blue blinking light behind the one. And it is the LED. Now what happens if we put this into USB? It might be one of those keyboards that doesn't give you any light unless you're uh, plugged in. Alright, so we have a white light that I don't know if that was actually two light bulbs or is it an RGB? 
We do have five pin hot swap compatibility and we have these Leo Bogue. Wow, that's actually a really nice switch. It's a light linear. It probably has about a 3.8 uh, travel. So it does have a long stem. There's a no spring pin. It has a nice bottom mount tap, three pin. So, but what do we have in here? So we definitely have a pretty good, looks like a silicone rubber mat between the plate and the PCB. And we have some pretty dense foam in the case. So I gotta say that probably contributes to why this sounds so well. Let's see what the light controls are. Uh, okay, that blue is a LED on top of the white. I was gonna say if it's a if you can do white and blue, then it's an LED RGB. Alright, so we only have white backlight, which does bleed out slightly uh, between the edges of the keycaps, but you're not gonna see much of it. So I'm I gotta say, though it's only white backlit, and not that I have to have RGB, I like RGB, but I think they chose right and having just the white. Thankfully, um, they didn't go with a blue white or a yellow white. It seems to be right in the middle white. Now they have these switches, Leo Bogue. I've seen them before, but not these. I've seen the manufacturer before, but um, honestly, impressed with how well this switch sounds and the fact that this is so well built is what seems to wow i'm just i gotta say i'm i'm, I'm kind of surprised at how well this keyboard sounds now granted it is very well padded um it has heft to it it is three mode only with white light and it does sell for below forty dollars so hmm, i've got to say i'm kind of interested now so this is called the graywood v3 switch it says that it's tactile but oh it's 3.6 travel so i was off by 0.2 but this is not Tactile. This is definitely a. Um, this is a linear switch. This is not a tactile switch. I do have wing latches on them. So, so yeah. Taking a look at the stem, we could see that that is definitely a linear stem. So it is not tactile. I don't know why they put on there that it's tactile. We have a nice taper there for the drop out, the bottom out. Hmm. It's completely dry. So I'm surprised it doesn't have any pain whatsoever. I don't see any traces of lubrication on here. But I'm honestly surprised at how smooth it is. Yeah, no spring ping whatsoever. Nice and smooth. I gotta say, I like that bottom out. All right. All right, so it does not look like we have the tactile switches that they list on here, the Greywood V3. But they look like the ones they have on here. So I don't know if they mistakenly calling it a tactile switch or if this is actually a different switch let's get technical today we are taking a look at the mint caps yq84 it is a three mode 75 percent hot swap keyboard uh, compatible with three and five pin hot swap sockets which includes only white led backlit for each key it comes pre-installed with leo bog switches they are linear but the listing says tactile they are also loaded with mint caps msa double shot white on black black on white combination keys does not include any extra keys or any extra switches 
The stock weight of this keyboard is 808 grams. The chin of this keyboard sits at 24 millimeters, while the back sits at 31, providing a default typing angle of 5 degrees. Lifting the first set of feet up will raise your back to 37 millimeters, changing your typing angle to 8 degrees. Using the final set of feet, you'll raise up the height to 46 millimeters and giving you a 12 degree typing angle. This keyboard manufacturer retails for $42.99 on Amazon, though there is currently a 10% coupon for Prime members. So I just wanted to make a little quick addendum. Um, I knew that I had seen this keyboard somewhere before. I just couldn't remember where. Now back a while ago, I got this JJK84 Fecker. Um, I think it was like $17, $18. It's before many of us knew that it did not have the ability to register more than two key presses at the same time. So no control alt delete or anything that required that. Um, and I looked and I was like, this is the same case. I actually turned the Bluetooth mode on. I don't know why I hadn't before. I usually do. And it showed up as a JJK84-1. Now this one says T1. But I did test this one, and this one has up to nine keys were able to be registered at the same time. And just to confirm, I plugged this one in and did not register more than two keys at a time. So this one does have NK NKRO and has the ability to handle more than one key. So it looks to be an upgraded version of this. Now, both these do have dampen in between the plate and the PCB as does this one as well, but this one doesn't have anything underneath the case, although this one does. So this is a keyboard that honestly, I mean, if you're gonna use more than two keys at a time, it's just not, not reliable, but this one appears to be an updated version. This one, eventually I'll get into this and I'll check the PCB to check, but I just wanted to, I, cause it was killing me. I was like, I know I've seen that bottom of the case before. It's not the EP84, it's not the RK84, which one is it? And of course it was the JJK84. So I have not seen a newer revision of this one from Fecker. So obviously it's a white label model. This is the Young Kui version. But I just wanted to go ahead and add it because I figured that out. So if you guys say, oh no, that's the JJK84. Well, at least we know that this MinCap one has an updated firmware or an updated PCB. So it allows for NKRO. Um, I'm almost curious if it's the same PCB, if I could take the firmware off of that one and flash it on to here. But... I doubt it would be that easy. And just another quick addendum. Um, this keyboard works with the JJK84 software that can be downloaded off of Epo Maker's website. Now, I was hoping that maybe there was an update to the firmware for the clear case one, the one that doesn't have NKRO. Unfortunately, it shows up. It, it, it's also programmable by the same one, but it doesn't have a firmware update for it, unfortunately. So, um, so this, this can be programmed, it has macro, and you can uh, remap the the, um, the original functionality of the keys. Um, I do not see a function layer that has different profiles, and I think these do have the ability to, but I always get confused between this and another one. So you can program at least uh, the primary level functions, you can program macros, there's no lighting program because it's one, uh, you know, the mono LED, white LED. But you can't. You do have software for it, so it's the Fecker JJK84 that's available on Epo Maker's website for download. That works also with the clear one. But I'm still going to see if the if the PCBs are the same. Then I'm going to see what I can do about getting the firmware off of this, so that I can you know share it, but also make sure that I can load it on the other one, so that we actually have NKRO because there's no reason that it shouldn't have it. I doubt that. It's, it was designed the wrong way. I'm just thinking that the firmware was programmed wrong. Or at least that's, I'm hoping that's the case. I will update when I find something out. So today we took a look at this uh, new entry. I know it's a white label board, but I've never seen it as loaded up as this one is. Now granted, it's not RGB, but it does come with decent Leo Bogue switches, Leo Bog. I'm not sure what they are. The listing says that they're supposed to be a tactile switch. Um, though they look alike, these are not tactile, these are linear. Um, the keycap set I like. MSA isn't a keycap set for everyone, 
but I myself had troubles at first. Then when I got used to it, it was fine. It's almost like a higher XDA for all intents and purposes, though it does have some sculpt to it. Um, so it's not exactly like SDA. It's kind of like a somewhere in between XDA and SA. I mean, if I had to say. Um, but despite all of that, I mean, some might argue this is a little pricey, doesn't have RGB, does not have software that I can find. It sounds extremely good. Um, it feels good. I'm honestly somewhat surprised at how well this keyboard really sounds. It's just, I was not expecting it to sound this good. So, I'm kind of on the fence of whether I'm going to keep this keyboard and do more with it uh, because it's right the line. No, granted, I guess the line that I'm putting it is for stock, something that I need to mod. This, honestly, I could just start using it and I'd be fine. I'm more of a tactile guy, but these aren't bad. These really just are not bad. Um, obviously, it is a, a, a tray mount, so you're not going to have any any amount of flex. But 75% that is well, I mean, this thing is 800 grams. Um, I'm just, I am surprised, I got to say. Now, I did say last year that 2023 was going to start bringing things like this, um, improvements in your in sock keyboard choices and it, it appears to be that way now did they miss the boat by not putting software in there yeah i mean granted you got most of your keys here but what if i want to do you know things other than what's in here yeah i don't see the battery size so i'd have to open it up to take a look at it because i guess they did not think that that was a necessary thing to include there's no reviews on it on the amazon page so it looks like they just listed it and i'm I'm pretty good at catching things when they first appear. I kind of just <laughs> check every day and count keyboards. Let's see what's up today. So, um, supports mass and wind system. All right, so it supports Mac, it says, but I do not see a Windows Mac mode. So how it does that is beyond me. Battery in slip mode, toggle the switch, USB toggle, Bluetooth 2.4. Well, I found this is the Yonkui 84. So is it's a Yonkui min caps and Samsung all the same. Though on I found it on AliExpress. It is the Yonkui 84 and bare bone without any switches. It's $49.79. So it has EVA sandwich cotton, cotton cotton. Okay, it has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Well, that's good to add. All right, so we got a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, but there still doesn't seem to be any software, or at least there's no link to it. It's funny, it also lists the CQ84, which I took a look at the other day. I don't know if I've edited the video yet. That's a 25.99. Um, listed as a 60%, it's a 75%. It is RGB but it has red switches and they're soldered in and it has absolutely no dampening. So it was a ping machine, but it appears to be that same one. Okay, this this seems to be the same keyboard as the Yunzi AK84. This is, no, the AK84 is actually the Tester 84, Never mind. All right, I could probably do this all day trying to figure out what this keyboard is, but um, yeah, I don't think this is the, JJK84, or yeah, JJK84, that's the Fecker one. I don't think it's this one. There's quite a few 75% out there. Let's just say that. Ooh, $28 for the Tester 84. That's a good price. Now, the Tester 84 is a great kit, aluminum frame and everything, but doesn't have wireless. So, I mean, if you're looking for a 75% to just grab and go and you want it to work and you don't care about the RGB and maybe you like a little white, this might just be it. Um, I am. Um, I, I like this keyboard a lot more than I thought I would. Um, it's well built. It's actually well priced when you, I mean, the mint cap 
keycap, the mint cap set that I got. This is the black and white. I want to say I paid either $24 or $29.99. Um, the switches are really nice, and even saying they're Milky Pro, okay, that's another 20 bucks, um, or the same price range as Milky Pro. So, already just the keycaps and the switches were meeting the price of the keyboard without even considering the keyboard. And the keyboard is three mode, 4,000 milliamp hour battery, um, and you know, 2.4 Bluetooth 5.0, yep, this was, yep, Bluetooth 5. So, it Honestly, it has a very good value proposition. I was just not expecting this. I was expecting this to be, okay, it's another, like the CQ84. I, I don't think I've put out that video yet because I just, I wasn't very impressed with it. Not, not that I don't want to put out videos that, of products I wasn't impressed with, but I just really wasn't impressed with that keyboard. Uh, but I will put that out here eventually. Um, I actually have a folder of about, I want to say over 20. I don't want to say actually reviews that I just haven't finished editing and I need to put those out because some of them are, they're so old I may have to go back and actually film some more so anyway uh this is the the mint caps young Kui, some zen <laughs> so all three seem to be the same brand it's funny because I liked all I, I've, I've been liking products from all three of these brands but they appear to be separate brands in the same company at least from what I can tell but it is the YQ 84 YQ standing for Yonkui. Um, three mode, five Bluetooth 5, 4000 milliamp hour battery, <clears throat> white LED, and that's it. On and off, no effects, just 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 the facts, man. I, I think this was a they thought about this kit good, and I think they did a good job. I'm honestly I'm honestly more more impressed than I expected to be on this keyboard. It's that's pretty good for the price. Um, so like I said, you can spend easily spend what this keyboard costs to match with these switches with these caps and switches that are similar. You're gonna spend about as much, maybe even a little more than this this keyboard's worth. Because I mean, if you find them for twenty nine ninety nine for the keycaps and uh, twenty dollars for the switches, well, you're at forty nine ninety nine. This is forty two. Uh, technically roughly 38 and change um, it's just not it, it's just not a bad deal um, I'm seriously considering keeping it because I like it <laughs> and I like this one I, I like it I mean and I like it the way that it is it's not like I like it once I mod it once I do this once I do that no I like it the only thing I really want to do to this is a tape mod and PD foam mod I think that'll just make it pop a little bit more. So, while I'm on the fence, I think I'm leaning more towards keeping it and coming back to it at a future date. But until then, I'm just going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of the YQ84. And um, I'd love to hear your, your guys' comments. What do you think about it? Do you guys agree with me that this is a good value proposition? I, I just, I can't, I can't beat it in my head when it comes to numbers. I mean, I... I I've spent all my money just with the switches and, and, and keycaps before I even get to the keyboard. And the keyboard is just, it's solidly built. Now it is an existing case. Like I said, I do believe it's the same case as a CQ84, but, and that one had no damping and was soldered with some, I forgot even the name of the switches. They were just red pingy switches. But this one, yeah, this is, uh, it's an interesting keyboard. All right, so I'm going to leave you guys with the, the stock sound test. And as always, if you guys have any comments, questions, any suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below or over on Budget Keebs. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.